Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, it's time to get my next guest out. I've got no idea what we'll talk about, but we'll find something. It's Mr. Russell Brand. Here he is. Look at you. Look at, look at the state of you. Look at the state of you. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. Uh, well, it's lovely to see you. So you did, you're, we should say, you flew in this morning from Los Angeles. You actually only arrived this morning. OK, but you're not jet-lagged, you're OK? You're okay I'm feeling so uh, tired and delirious, and I've been in an aquarium full of national treasures. <laughs> <laughs> baffling in there. How nice for you to meet uh, Sir David Attenborough. I know you've been a big fan of this many years. You haven't met him before, have you? I once introduced him at an awards ceremony uh, where I was uh, rivalling him for TV Personality of the Year. You will be astonished to learn that Sir David Attenborough won that prize. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I believe, Sir David, you are a, uh, a fan, or certainly you approve of Russell's uh, way of carrying yourself. He's a very, very bright guy. That's very nice to hear. That's that's what I what I say. See? And I say, a lot of his jokes, a lot of... I, I don't appreciate, but yeah. I... I... <laughs> Uh, okay, let me ask you about your life in the moment, Russell, because uh, I see you occasionally, not as often as I like to, because I very much enjoy your company. You are very focused on uh, the spiritual side of your life, it seems to me, on meditation, on the yoga that you do. Uh, how much of your time is taken up with these kind of pursuits? Loads. It's <laughs> an half time consuming. If you start getting into meditation and yoga, it will devour your day quite easily. How do you know when you're finished? Mm. If you're trying to think of nothing and blend with the infinite divinity that encompasses all things, all phenomena, it's difficult to go, oh, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put the telly back on. You carry it with you? It's there with you. Okay. There's a limitless consciousness accessible to us all. We can get it through techniques. I used to try and get it through the old Persian rugs, drugs. <laughs> but that way you can receive a headache or a criminal record. I wish you had plenty of both, I believe. Many headaches and uh, what I like to call an impressive <laughs> criminal record. I've been, uh, but I have been, uh, even since clean from drugs, I still managed to get arrested sometimes. Well, how did that happen? Because a lot of the laws don't seem to make very much sense. <laughs> well, yeah. Drive in a particular way, in a particular time. <laughs> this colour means stop, this one means go. Who should really decide? We, the people. <laughs> OK, we should point out, uh, we won't need to, but I mean, I get the feeling people will watch uh, an interview that I do with you more keenly than would most other interviews. We should point out that you do not in any way endorse criminal behaviour. <laughs> Depends, really. I mean... No, no. Russell, I, Russell, actually, Russell, I, it does, because... I am trying to keep you out of trouble. Let me ask that oh, question Oh, yeah, you've done again. a great job in the past, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> Thank you, well, Uncle well, Jonathan! Well, well, I'm trying not... I'll be looking at a ten stretch. <laughs> You're like bloody Fagan! <laughs> I, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to keep on the straight and narrow. I was regarded as a twinkly little sex addict when I met you, <laughs> then I nearly ended up in jail! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you buggered off out of the country and left me to deal with it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I had to go on a special holiday. <laughs> a special holiday? <laughs> For America, I went okay, to. Okay, all right, let's deal with this, because uh, I, I don't know. I don't. We're both keen to put this behind us, but we should mention the Saxgate incident, because that's what I we're joking that. about. Okay, I know you do, but people, I think, are perhaps curious as to uh, not necessarily what went on. That was very well documented, but certainly how we felt about it afterwards. Yeah. And we we did both regret the furore that we caused. Not an easy thing for me to say, obviously, and also. <laughs> The, the hurt it may have caused to Mr. Sachs and his family. Now, obviously, we regret it because uh, it became difficult to ascertain. It became difficult to distinguish the media phenomena from the obvious impolite act. I consider myself quite a polite person, right? But like, sometimes we, you get excited when you're doing a joke. And what happened? You know, when David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough, he was saying when the cameramen are filming an animal, and they sort of think this is brilliant, and they forget its actual reality. Yeah. I sometimes think like that with comedy. Like, I sort of think I'm doing a joke. I think this is brilliant. This is brilliant, and then you sort of forget, like realise, oh, that reality with real consequences. Someone was filming me when I got that tattoo done. Look, I've got a tattoo on my hand of a kundalini snake etched by the eminent psychiatrist Carl Jung, who was also a very mystic man. This represents the energy of our core being taken up our body so that our consciousness, that our primal consciousness can connect with our divine consciousness. I was being filmed when it happened, Jonathan, and then afterwards I went, oh no, that's there now. 
<laughs> I didn't realise it was real because it was being filmed. I, I didn't thought... think it was real. How many tattoos do you have now, Russell? You have too many tattoos, I'm in my opinion. I'm smothered in the bleeding thing. Why do you keep getting tattoos? Because I'm an addict. And if, like, I start doing something and it feels nice, I do it all the time. You know, it's like chocolate. How's your father? Monkey business, hullabaloo, tomfoolery, I've done them all. That, that's all the same thing. <laughs> I know, I've been doing it all day. Okay, uh... I've nearly kicked off my aeroplane. How, how many tattoos do you have now, Russell? All right, I'll show you. Oh, I didn't ask you to say, we don't want to see <laughs> Please don't encourage him. I feel encouraged by that. OK, how do you... Well, that's quite a beautiful one on your arm there. It's, these aren't like Harry Styles tattoos. that are just run out of paper. Lord of the Seen and Unseen Universe. Seventy percent of the universe is... Uh, we cannot ascertain with our senses. It is dark matter, yet Krishna rules it all. Ganesh, with his infinite compassion, removing the obstacles between us and our higher selves. And then, West Ham United, you are invited <laughs> to us <actual fun>. to <laughs> <laughs> So there's a mixture of the spiritual and the temporal there. Your interest in the spiritual world and the, and the actual world of physical reality. We are flesh, aren't we, Jonathan? We How can we escape our primal natures? Now, you are more flesh than most of us, and you do seem to have more trouble escaping your primal nature than others. Or perhaps <laughs> you just give in to the flow of primality. Sometimes people are so beautiful, what can you do? Do you have that under control, Russell? What, the old SEX? Uh, yes. Yeah, I now meditate and do yoga much more than I have physical intercourse because I suppose really all desire is the inappropriate substitute for union, for togetherness. We do all want to be together, like Eddie was saying, in our natural state to be, well, you know, tribal nature is part of humanity, but we want to connect. And sometimes the simplest way to do that is through the old pink winky bridge. <laughs> There are more divine ways to do it, which also should be investigated, although they are less humorous. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you have love in your life. I know you have great love for your mother and you have many She's friends. She's right, old mum, yeah, I remember. I used to live in her. OK. <laughs> she just came out here. I don't know what's next. Uh, Russell and I, we went through a, uh, an unusual experience together and even though uh, we're both a little embarrassed by what we did, that's fair enough. The only really genuinely nice thing that came out for me was the fact that we became very close. And I value you as a friend and I admire you as a human being. Thank and you. I'm thrilled you're here and good luck with that. I know it'll be a huge success. Mr. Russell Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, Jonathan.